All right, so let's see brilliant directories at work. Okay, so what we want to do is kind of show you how some of the leads, uh, the lead system works with brilliant directory. So right before the webinar, I quickly set up this website. It's it's just on one of our directory up domains. Um, so we we called this website findmydentist.com. Uh, using the design settings, we kind of customized the home page. Um, some of the things that the menu says here, we added one sample dentist. He's he'll be our professional member, and we also have a um, a general user account. So what we want to do is first let's register as how a premium member would register. So. What you can do is you can have a page where you can join our network today. You can choose the terminology that's right for you. And on this website, we've kept it very simple. We've created two types of accounts, one to find dentists, which would be a general user account. In this case, we're making it free to join, but you could charge a one-time fee. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And we have professional listing where it says list your practice for dentists. So. We'll go ahead and list your practice. And the dentist would just put his uh, email here, uh, confirmation, uh, uh, email, password. He can choose monthly or annually. And the member would go ahead and put their credit card information in here. We're not going to put our credit card information today. What I'll do is I'll just go to the admin and we can see that member's account. So I'm logging into the Brilliant Directories admin panel, just like you would do with your own website. And this is the backend and, uh, admin panel where you manage members. And we can see we have two total members right now. One of them is a general user and one of them is a professional member. Let's go ahead and just log in as Bill Paxton, DDS. Here is his admin dashboard. Um, he can manage his listing here. He can add coupons for his services. That's one of the member features Brilliant Directories offers in addition to things like uh, photos, videos. But in this case, he just has the coupons feature. Um, and we can see that he has a notification here. He has leads that he can uh, purchase. But let's see how he got to do that. So let me log out of his account and let me just be a normal website visitor now. So. I'm going to do a search. I'm looking for a dentist who specializes in, uh, let's say, crowns and is located in, he's located in Beverly Hills. I want to make sure I get a result. So what I love about Brilliant Directories is that it's connected to the Google Locations API. So you can see as I type, instantly you can see the locations available. So we'll do a search and we'll obviously get Bill, back, get Bill Paxton here. Um, I can go to his profile. More things I love about Brilliant Directories. The concepts we used on Interior Design Pro, we've shared them on all the Brilliant Directories websites. And the number one reason a lot of your members will join your site is to be contacted by potential customers, potential patients, potential clients. How many times do you see the word send message on this page? There's one here. There's one here and there's one here. The reason, and you can change send message to request a quote, contact now, you can change that terminology. But the reason these are all here is website visitors respond to different things, different calls to actions. So you're giving people different opportunities to contact your member. And it's, it's so easy, it's right in your face. No one is gonna miss this. And if that wasn't enough, if you go to his specialties tab, let me just show you his profile here. So he has a beautiful profile. He put all his information in there. There's related searches here, which is fantastic for search engine optimization. But if we go to his specialties, we know that he specializes in crowns, fillers, root canals. What do we see? Request information buttons. It takes you to the same place the send message buttons go to. So there's no way that if someone is remotely interested in this member, they're not going to contact them. So let's go to the send message page and we'll send him a message. Just use a sample email there. 
Again, this is also connected to the Locations API. I'll say I'm in Los Angeles, California, just a little bit further from Beverly Hills, and I need a root canal. And we will save or send it. Great, your message has been sent. So it'll take me back to the previous page. And what happens now is Bill gets an email in his inbox. Uh, and says, hey, you have a new lead, do you wanna buy it? So let's log in as Bill again. We're, we're doing it from the admin panel, so let's log in as member. Remember, as the admin, you have super control of your website. You can edit your own members, you can delete them, you can log in as your members. We're gonna log in as Bill. And now we have two notifications, because there was one there previously. We can go to manage leads. And here's the one we just created, the one in Los Angeles, California and we can view the details of this lead. Perfect. So it says the lead price is $10. That is defined in the membership level setting, settings. He can choose to decline this lead so he never has to see it again or get reminders that he can purchase this lead, or he can go ahead and purchase this lead. So once you connect your payment gateway, you can connect Stripe, PayPal, Authorize.net, eWay, great for Australia, lots of others. Once you connect your payment gateway, members can now process payments directly through your website. And this is the automation we're talking about. Members do this all by themselves. So yes to continue. So Bill's name is here. He can put his credit card in here and he can save and purchase the lead. We're not gonna do that right now, but let me show you something else. Look at the details of the lead. We can see the name, the location, and also the message, I need a root canal. So this is good information for Bill to see to decide if he wants to purchase the lead. And when Bill purchases the lead, he will then be able to get the phone number and the email address of the lead so he can actually call and contact that person. Right now he can't really do anything with the lead because all he has is, is a name and a message. But once he purchases the lead for $10, he will get the contact information. So from the admin, we can actually manually match him with the lead because we're not going to do it from, uh, we're not going to put a credit card in today. So right now we're in the admin and I went to match leads. And let's see, this is the new lead that came in. I need a root canal. So let's go to match. And again, this is, there's more in-depth about this in the videos that you'll see uh, if you go to brilliantdirectors.com forward slash leads. So right now this lead has been matched with Bill, but he hasn't accepted it yet. He can buy it. From the admin, I can actually accept it for Bill so he doesn't have to pay 10 bucks right now. Again, as the admin, you have full control. So let's accept it on behalf of Bill Paxton DDS. And let's go back to Bill's profile and I'll just refresh the page. And now the lead status has changed to accepted. And the magical information that Bill needs, which is the email and the phone number, he now has it because he paid $10. He can now follow up with John Smith, give him a call, make an appointment. Everyone's happy. Fantastic. So what I wanna do now is a lot, just like Angie's List did for 20 years, is force general users to sign up before they can contact members and submit leads. So right now, the website is 100% a public website. Anyone can search. What I'm gonna do is make it a members only website. And there's lots of different ways to make your website uh, secure with regards to members only. You can lock down different parts of your website. But the easiest way is to go to your general settings in your admin and make your website members only. So what this means is you need to be logged in as a general member or professional member. You need to be logged in in some capacity in order to access a lot of the internal pages of your website. So let me just save the changes. We are now a members only website. I'm not logged in as any member. I will be able to access some public pages, such as the How It Works page, the Request a Dentist page, which is just another place you have a lead form, and the Sign Up page, of course, because I need to be able to sign up. If I try to search, 
what's going to happen is I'm taken to the login page and it says you must log in to view this page. So I can log in here or I can register as a user or I can sign up as a professional member. So let's go back to the join our network today page. Let's create a free account. So I'm signing up as a general user and I put my information here, create my profile and then I'll be logged in. What I'm gonna do is just log in as the pre-made general member we have in the admin. So I'll just go to search members. I'm just gonna log in as this guy here. So now I'm logged in as a general user, as you can see up here, this guy with the bow tie. And now I have access to search the website. So I can actually click search here and I get results. I can search Bill here and I get Bill Paxton as an option. So I had to register as a general user to access the site. Let's take it one step further. Let's force general users to have to pay to sign up. So let me log out. This is how Angie's List made their bread and butter for over 20 years. So right now it's free to join as a general user. Let's go into our admin and let's go to membership levels. Right now I have four membership levels on my website. I have the professional member, the basic member, which we're actually not using, and then the general user and an admin blog contributor. Remember, as the admin of your website, you can have a company blog, and that is what this membership level is for. So let's edit the general user membership level. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pricing, Right now the account type is set to free. We wanna change that to paid. And I actually wanna charge my general users a one-time fee of, 10, of $5. So let me save my changes. And let me close this out. And what I really love about the admin, all the links are really easily accessible. So from right here, I can go to what the signup page would be for a general user. So if I go to the sign up page here, just give it a second to load. There we go. So to create a general user account, before all I had to put was an email and a password. Now I have to pay $5 and enter my credit card information. Then I can become a general user on the website and search the members only website. So. I hope that makes sense. Um, let's see, let's also check out, let's go back to our general user and log in again so we can access the site. What you can also do is instead of sending messages to Bill Paxton directly, you might not have a public directory of members. You might just have a site that says, hey, we'll match you with dentists or we'll match you with professionals, but there really is no public directory to, to search. All your members are private and you really just manage them from the admin panel. So what you can do is with Brilliant Directories, you do get a page called forward slash get matched. You can change that URL, which is pretty much a general submission form uh, to submit general leads. They're not gonna be automatically matched with the member whose page that they were, that the lead was submitted on. Remember when we submitted the lead on Bill's page, Bill got a notification saying, hey, you have a new lead. So let's do a new lead here. We'll call it John Smith New. And we'll do john at smith.com. And we'll do 310. And I'll say I'm in, um, let's do Los Angeles again. I, again, I love how quick this loads up. And this time I need a cleaning. So we'll submit this. And what I'm gonna show you now is how to manually match a lead with your members. So go ahead and submit. All right, your message has been sent back to previous page. I love just how easy this is. So now let's go in the admin. This lead has not been matched with any members because it's just a lead that came from your get matched form. So we'll go to match leads. And here's the John Smith new lead. And let's go to match. 
And what the system is going to do, it's going to recommend matches of people who might be nearby. So we can see on the map, map, this is Beverly Hills. This is a suggested match. You can see it's color coded. And this is where the lead, the lead is submitted. This is where John Smith lives in Los Angeles over here. So if we scroll down, we can see suggested matches. Bill Paxton is a good suggested match for this lead. We can also see some stats about him. He accepted a lead ID number three just a few moments ago. He has another lead pending. So what we'll do is we'll match Bill with this lead. And we'll get a message that says it's been matched successfully. The page will reload. And now under matched members, we see Bill Paxton has been matched with this lead. So if Bill Paxton logs in, we can all guess what's going to happen. He's going to have a new lead waiting for him to accept it. So let's log in as Bill now. And he has two pending notifications. We accepted one of them, so that's why it doesn't say three. So he has two pending notifications. Here's the new one, John Smith new. Again, when he's matched with the lead, even from the admin panel, Bill Paxton gets an email saying, hey, you have a new lead waiting for you to accept or decline. So Bill comes here, he says, I need a cleaning. Los Angeles, it's only a few miles away from where he works. He loves it and he wants to purchase the lead. He can do it in just a couple clicks and then he would get the contact information for the lead. Let me manually match it from the admin because today we're not adding any credit card information. So let's go to matching this new lead and we'll set the status to see you can see resend email because we want to send reminders to to bill if he hasn't accepted a lead in a couple days maybe he's on vacation he hasn't seen it yet maybe you want to send the email fresh in his inbox you just hit resend email and he's going to get an email saying hey reminder you have this awesome lead waiting for you so we'll just mark it as accepted and the page will refresh so if you remember, before he accepted it, there's no name, um, there's no phone number and email address. If I refresh now, because we've manually accepted it for him in the admin, he has the email address and the phone number, which is enough information to go out there and try to make a sale, a new customer, a new client from that lead. Let's see if there's any other awesome stuff to share regarding the lead matching. I think that's good for now, for the examples. We might answer more in the Q&A section. Okay. So what I showed you were some very basic lead matching capabilities. It was the pillar of the Interior Design Pro and other websites we launched, and people are using them today with Brilliant Directories. But again, if you watch, if you need more advanced features, there are tons of them with Brilliant Directories. You can customize your lead capture forms, so you get more information besides name, phone number, and a message, which is pretty simple. Um, you know, you can create drop downs for what people really need. What I really love is when it gets more advanced, you can auto match leads based on location. You can auto match leads based on category, so people can actually select the category of the service they're interested in. So you could select a dentist who provides teeth whitening and it would automatically match the lead automatically with any members who are in the location and match the category of that lead, even if it's filled out on the, on the general get matched page, which is just a public page. There's also priority lead distribution by membership level. So higher membership levels get priority lead distribution ahead of other membership levels. And you can also customize, I mentioned that Bill Paxton would get emails when he's matched with a lead. You can actually customize what those emails say to make them uh, more encouraging for him to want to purchase the lead uh, and also provide a sense of urgency. Hey, this lead's going to run out if, if you don't act fast. Also, a uh, good peace of mind is you as the admin can get notified when a lead is purchased. So learn more about it. Go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash leads.